Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you some other really cool useful things that you can do with the terminal and before this video started what I did is I made two sample files and I just found some text online and I pasted them in there and I don't know I just want some sample files to work with so if you want to follow along go ahead and make some you know uh, like temporary files and paste whatever you want in there but the first command I want to teach you guys is how you can search a file for a specific keyword or you know any bit of text so in this corn file I'll just show you guys none of this code is important um, this is just source code but it could be any code a story a word document say that you wanted to go through here and look for the word button so you want to search this file for the word button well what you do is you type GREP and then type whatever word you're looking for. So I'm just looking for the word button. So it's gonna say, and actually, I'm not even in the right directory, so move to my desktop and okay. So grip, button, and after this it's saying you wanna search for the word button in what file? Well, search for the word button in corn. So hit enter, and now it's gonna go through that file and any time it sees the word button it's going to display that line so let's see if we can find what it found so the first line was this so that's why I print out button button and then where's the next one right here so that's why it printed that and that's essentially all it's doing so grep the word you're looking for in the file simple enough now another cool thing that you can do with the terminal is you can compare two files so what if you wanted to compare this file corn with this file and you wanted to see the differences between the two I don't know maybe this is an updated version and you wanted to see what changed well what you can do is you can use the command diff and it will show you the difference between two files so type file one's name which is corn and file two's name which is corn two hit enter and it'll show you the difference between the two files so any line that's different it's gonna print out so for example in corn it says public class main and in corn 2 it says public class beef and also in corn it says button equals new button and in corn 2 button equals new thingy so let's check that out here's corn 1 let me open corn 2 as well so here is corn 1 uh, button equals new button and in corn 2 button equals new thingy so it does work so let me just clear this and alright so now we know how to search a file for a specific word and also how to compare two different files one other command that you may find useful is if you ever want to change your password type PASSWD so whenever you hit enter it's gonna say what is your current password so just enter it and make sure that you know you have permission to change it and enter your new password and verify your new password and password unchanged and that says that because I didn't actually want to change it so I just typed the same one over again but that is how you would do it now another useful command that you can use is if you ever want to have a bit of information and store it inside a variable and if you guys never programmed before then a variable is just a placeholder for something else so let's make a variable called name and we're gonna set it equal to the value of Bucky and just hit enter so now I can use this keyword name and for this example just to keep things real simple I'm just gonna use echo and the echo command just takes something and displays it on the screen so it's like really easy so if you echo hey now it's gonna display hey now so it's pretty much like the most basic command ever so what we can do is if we wanna echo out the variable type echo and then you use the dollar sign and the dollar sign is the way of telling Linux that hey this is a variable so echo the variable name is going to say okay name is a placeholder for what it's a placeholder for Bucky now if you do something like echo um, my name is name it says my name is and then it echoes out your variable 
Now usually you just want to make variables like this. You would uh, set those equal to like files or you know something important. But there you go. That's the basics of how you can use variables in your terminal. Now one other thing I want to point out is if you ever see a command and maybe I forgot to go over it in detail or maybe you just want to know uh, some more information about it then write the word info and then you type the word of your command so echo like okay that echo thing was pretty cool if you type this it's gonna give you a whole bunch of info about the echo command so here you can see okay echo it prints a line of text then it writes each given string to standard output which pretty much means your computer screen and uh, a space between new line last one okay don't really feel like reading all that and here are the different options you can have so you know whenever we just listed the contents of a directory we had the option of using minus a and minus l for having more details or showing hidden files well a lot of these commands have other options and there you go read all about that I'm sure it's thrilling but whatever so I want to get out of here so just hold control Z and that will pop you back up to home and just hit clear to clear the screen so there you go that is your basics of you know how to search a file for a specific keyword how to compare files change your passwords use variables and the last thing I want to show you guys real quick is if you ever have a command and you are too lazy to type it again then what you can do is you can cycle through your previous commands using the up arrow on your keyboard so I'm just gonna tap up and all the previous commands that I typed in this little example are right there so I can cycle through them pressing up and down so maybe I'm like okay actually I want to uh, echo hey now again for some reason just press up until you got it again hit enter and it runs that command again 